want to get accomplished here in fall camp to, to bring the offense together? Well, um, obviously with a new quarterback, we have to find out um, what he can do. And it's incumbent upon us as coaches to find out, you know, whoever the starting quarterback is, what he can do and, and what he can do well. You replace four out of five on the offensive line. You've got mobile quarterbacks. That that helps that group, doesn't it? It does. And some some running backs that can make guys miss helps as well. But, you know, that unit up front, they have to um, – it's a special unit, and they have to gel together. It's five guys playing as one, so we'll use the next uh, three weeks to ensure that that happens as well. Yeah. Quarterbacks' attitudes have to be pretty good going into fall camp, though. I mean, obviously, you've got a new offensive line, but there's a lot of skilled people around those guys who can distribute the ball to. Absolutely. Last year, they were asking us about Kenny and Kenny Hill and Kenny. Well, our question was, well, we need to play better. Around Kenny, was the statement we made? We need to play better running back on the offensive line and that receiver. And so we, I think we accomplished that. And our goal is to do that as well to make the quarterback's job easy. Talk about Darius for a second. He was on pace last year to go over a thousand yards. Is, is he healthy now? And, and what do you expect out of him this season? Absolutely, he was healthy. He almost played in the bowl game. Uh, he, he tried to get back for that. So he went through the spring with no is issues whatsoever. So. Uh, you know, he's a guy that just has always gotten yards all of his life. He rushed for 270 yards in the state championship game. I mean, he's, he expects to get yards. He gains yardage. Uh, he breaks tackles. Uh, I'm excited to see what he does this year. Last year, Shayla was a guy that really came on the scene, showing his versatility as a receiver as well. Do you Does that make the Darius anderson Shaywo show the top running back duel in the Big 12, in your opinion? Well, let's go. I think so. You know, they are, they both complement each other really well. They're very smart players. They're conscientious. They work hard. And uh, they're really good friends. Uh, we'll, we'll have both of those guys on the field a lot this year. How much does it help having those two guys uh, with Sean or even Michaels yeah. transition as a new quarterback? Yeah. You know, not only do they have to play well for us, but we're asking those guys to be leaders. They need to be leaders, and we lost a lot of leadership last year with our offensive lineman, Kenny, Kyle Hicks, John D'Ars. We lost a lot of leaders, so I'm asking a lot of those two guys in the backfield. Not only get yards, make people miss, make the quarterback's job easier, play on special teams, but we need leaders on offense. How big was it for you guys last year with uh, Jalen's emergent, those last two games, Jalen Rager's emergent as a receiver, and, and how well do you think he would uh, be as a target this year for Sean? Yeah, you know, that's a quarterback's best friend when you see you got a guy over there that that runs at 10, 300 meters, and, and they're going to play one high, and he's one-on-one -on -one with the corner like he was that one play that mm -hmm. you saw at, uh, at the Alamo Bowl. So, you know, Jalen just continues to get better. Uh, he works extremely hard. You know, he's, he's, uh, he has a great, great father who's uh, instilled a lot of that hard work and those work ethic, that work ethic in him. And uh, it's exciting to see. We, we need people to double Jalen so we can run the football as well. Yeah. And if they don't, then we're going to try to throw it over their heads. The question every every year seems to be the the new crop of guys, the new guys that are on campus. Yeah. Are any of those 2018 kids? Did they did they make an impression on you guys at all in the offseason? Maybe not you guys seeing them, but maybe just word of mouth. Are you the guys that are fast, or maybe we hear, you guys? Yeah. We hear things. We hear how well these guys are supposedly doing. But you know, even Mike Tyson, he had a profound statement when he said, you know, everyone has a plan until they get hit in the mouth. So we'll see what happens when we put the pads on, because that's really when we can tell you know, uh, the contributions that, mm -hmm. that when we can find out what contributions we can expect from our young guys. We have an idea, but we're generally wrong.